Who in the world is Patrice Lumumba? Um, well, Patrice Lumumba was a Congolese political leader and anti-colonial activist who played a major role in the independence of the Congo from Belgium in 1960. He was the first democratically elected Prime Minister of the Congo, serving from June until September 1960. Born in 1925 in Kasai province, Lumumba was a member of the Tetela ethnic group. He received his early education in a Protestant primary school and obtained a clerkship in the Postal and Telecommunications Service in Leopoldville, now Kinshasa. In 1955, he joined the Liberal Party of Belgium and was actively involved in the Congolese movement for independence from Belgium. Lumumba's role in the independence struggle was critical. He became the leader of the Congolese national movement, Imem Aantsi, and was a major figure at the All African People's Conference in 1958. He was also a co-founder of the Congolese National Movement for the Liberation of Congo, Movement National Congolese pour la Liberation du Congo, which was the first Congolese political party to call for independence. And Lumumba was a passionate advocate for the independence of the Congo and was seen as a threat by the Belgian government. He was arrested and imprisoned in 1959. After his release, he continued to agitate for independence and was an important figure in the negotiations with the Belgian government that led to the Congo's independence in 1960. Lumumba was appointed Prime Minister in June 1960, and he quickly set to work on implementing policies to improve the lives of his people. However, a period of political instability and civil war followed, leading to Lumumba's arrest and eventual assassination in 1961. Lumumba's legacy is one of a visionary leader who fought for the independence of the Congo and championed the cause of African liberation and self-determination. His death marked a turning point in the Congo's history and has been widely commemorated by Congolese people. He has been recognized internationally as a symbol of African freedom and is remembered as one of the most important African liberation leaders of the 20th century.